everything in life has a line of perfection and balance and there's no formula to to tell me what that line is. I have to figure it out. I'm on my own. And so my life has become this constant battle of trying to find that line that doesn't even exist. I've got some coffee. My journal. So it's a good combination. It's about to get very transparent. I woke up this morning feeling so like overwhelmed with life like how people manage it all, balance it all, do relationships, marriage. And I only have one kid. Like there are some of you out there that have like four kids. I am just constantly trying to hold it all together and balance it all all the time. And it just still leaves me feeling so out of control and so just at my end all the time. And it's hard. Motherhood is difficult, but just life is difficult. And I think for me, what makes it the most difficult is my perfectionism. I have these standards in my head of what things should be. And I feel like I'm striving and climbing my way to the top of a mountain that doesn't even exist. Like perfectionism does not exist. I will never achieve perfection in all areas of my life. Before having kids or having my son, my perfectionism felt like my friend. Like it was a very high functioning anxiety. It made me feel successful in my job. It made me feel successful in my relationships. And now I'm so out of control. And the funny thing is, is that I was always out of control, but my perfectionism made me feel very in control. I'm just realizing like the longer that I'm a mother and the longer that I'm trying to strive for perfection in every single area of my life, the more I realize that I have a very big boundary problem. Perfectionism has made me feel that I'm just a complete and total failure in every single way all the time. No matter how hard I try, no matter what I accomplish, big or small, it's like, it's never good enough. No matter what it's about, it's never good enough. I have to be the perfect mom, the perfect spouse, the perfect friend, the perfect daughter, the perfect sister. I have to be a perfect worker. How on earth? Like, I'm like saying all that out loud and I'm like, of course I'm stressed all the time. Like, I cannot believe that someone could expect all of that of themselves. I would never treat a friend the way that I treat myself. If I treated a friend this way, if I just made them feel like they were never good enough, it was never good enough, I would be a bad friend. I would be a horrible friend. And I would not treat my friends that way. I would be so compassionate. I would celebrate every little win that they had. I would be there for them when they had bad days and have compassion and empathy. Like, that's what I would do if my friend was in this position. But for some reason, I can't treat myself that way, no matter how hard I try. I need to be on top of working out, but I can't work out during the day because I'm with my son. But I also can't work out when my husband gets off work and he can help me because then I'm a bad mom and a bad wife and I'm not being present enough. I go to the gym for an hour and I waste the family time that we could have. So I have to have the perfect body. I have to lose my baby weight. I have to figure out how to work out and how to fit that in with everything else going on. I need to not lose myself in motherhood completely. So I need to find creative outlets. I need to find things that bring me life. But the kicker is that I can't let them take away from me being a present mom. And then if I don't have time during the day, again, I can't do it at night because then I'm a bad mom and a bad wife. I'm not being present enough. If I do those things at nighttime and then I feel this immense guilt when I do, even though I'm happy and I'm thriving doing little creative things, even if my husband is like happy to help me, it's like I still feel guilty. I need to keep the house clean, but I have a one-year-old who's very mobile, who hates being confined. So if I put him in his little playpen, he only lasts there for like 10 minutes. So I have to figure out how to keep the house perfectly clean perfectly organized so that people don't judge me when they come in my house and think, oh my gosh, she's a mess. And also, so I don't judge myself and I don't feel like I'm living out the cliche of a stay-at-home mom who's just losing her crap all the time, but also figure out how to do it without putting my son in danger. In my spare time that I don't have, I need to make sure that I'm keeping up with all of my friendships. I need to remember everything about their life and I need to reach out to them consistently because if I don't, then we won't talk. And then if I don't reach out to every single person in my life enough, then I'll lose the relationship. And I'll keep doing it because I still just don't want people to feel unloved and I don't want to lose friendships because I'm not staying on top of reaching out to people. Even if half of those people don't put in the same effort that I put in for the friendship. That one felt ridiculous to say out loud. That's really bad. I need to make sure that I'm feeding my son the best possible food, healthiest possible food, checking all of his nutritional boxes and also fully up to date on all of his developmental leaps. And also I can't cut corners with his meal time. Like he has to learn how to self-feed. He has to learn how to use utensils. And so he makes a mess. I need to make sure that 
I'm staying present with my husband at the end of every day. Like I can't just check out. And I'm so worried that my marriage is going to fall apart if I do check out and I do withdraw because I'm just tired. This is what I tell myself. This is not the reality, but like be perfectly connected all the time and we have to stay on top of everything in our marriage or else everything's going to fall apart. I need to keep the fridge and the pantry stocked at all times. I need to go to the grocery store. I need to figure out how to go to the grocery store and how to food prep and how to make the most perfect healthy meals for my family. And also I can't repeat meals or else I'm going to get boring in my cooking. Like I have to keep things diverse enough. I need to make sure that I'm not spending too much. I'm not eating too much, not drinking too much, not working too much, not thinking too much, not watching too much TV, not being on social media too much. Everything in life has a line of perfection and balance and there's no formula to to tell me what that line is. I have to figure it out. I'm on my own. And so my life has become this constant battle of trying to find that line that doesn't even exist. Just saying all of that is so exhausting. And I wonder if this is just me or there's other people out there. Like, if you relate to any of this stuff, please tell me because this is why I'm posting this video. So I took some time to journal exchanges for all of these awful statements of perfectionism and extreme thinking and the truth about all those statements that I just said that were very extreme. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know where you are while you're watching this video, but if you related to any of that stuff that I just said, let these statements that I'm about to say wash over you. Your body did an incredible thing and every woman's body responds differently to it. I have sacrificed my body for almost two years to grow and sustain a human life. That is nothing to be ashamed of. I actually am extremely proud and I have the battle scars to prove it. I will get back to a place of feeling comfortable again, but it won't come from self-punishment, extreme dieting, or obsessive working out. When you find the time to do things that bring you back to a place of independence and connection with yourself, it is a gift. But the truth is, if you do lose yourself in the pursuit of prioritizing motherhood, you will find yourself again. You will make time for things you love from a place of rest and peace, not fear of what will happen if you lose yourself a little bit. I'm like holding back tears reading these <laughs> myself. <laughs> your house will never be spotless, ever, and that's okay. If your bathroom goes a month or two without being cleaned, it's not the end of the world and surely doesn't mean that you are a failure. It means that you are busy ensuring the well-being of your children and if you're not a mom, it means that you are prioritizing other things in your life. One day you will have more time to clean, but it's okay that things are dirtier right now. You can actually, this is gonna wreck me, this one. You can actually depend on people in this season and people are more understanding than you think. If people get upset, offended, or lack empathy with your capacity right now, it might be revealing that they aren't as good of friends as you once thought. Your true friends that love you unconditionally are understanding of your capacity of how exhausted you are. Most importantly, they will also pursue you. If you lose entire relationships because you don't reach out, you never had them in the first place. Children are ever evolving and changing, so it's impossible to stay ahead of every single curve to check every single box. Feed him healthy when you can, but if he has macaroni from a box, even a few nights in a row, it will not kill him. <laughs> sounds ridiculous saying that out loud. Give yourself permission to take meals slow, be patient, and be present with him as he learns. No matter what you have on your to-do list, nothing is more important than being present with your child. But if sometimes you do have to run through meals because you're late to somewhere, you have something to do, it's okay. You're not going to traumatize him. <laughs> your husband loves you and prioritizes your connection too. You are not responsible for making sure the relationship doesn't fall apart. If there are nights where you have no energy but to watch TV and snuggle with your husband, that's okay. And it won't fall apart because you two are tired, working hard, and to be present parents together. Just try to go on dates when you can and let go of the pressure and the fear that your whole marriage is going to fall apart because of one or two nights of being too tired to talk. If you need to do a frozen pizza one, two, three times a week, I can feel the judgment <laughs> from that one. Listen, <laughs> it's fine. It's not going to kill anybody. Don't do it every single week. If you need to do frozen pizza, lighten the cooking load. Nobody cares. You don't need to make perfect meals to be a good wife and a good housekeeper. Making anything homemade, whether it takes 30 minutes or three hours, is a complete and total win. Everything that protects your peace, like making frozen pizza so you don't have to do dishes, is a win too. Also, your husband is more than happy to take on half of the load of making meals if you want him to. 
He is always willing to help. Any other mom that sees you in public with greasy hair, PJ pants, and no makeup will understand exactly where you're coming from. And the truth is, people aren't paying attention to you as much as you may think they are. Anyone who judges you for having dried food on your sweatshirt, hair up in a bun, has issues of their own, and it has nothing to do with you. <sighs> Don't you feel like you can just, like, grieve after hearing all of that? Like, I feel like... I've already read this so many times, but like every time I read it and I speak it over myself, I just feel like a weight has lifted off of me. Like it's so powerful making exchanges for things that are harsh and extreme for the truth, things that are filled with grace and compassion and love for myself. Listen, I don't know where you're at in life. If you're in the same season as I am, if you're 30 years older, if you're 10 years younger, whatever life stage you may be in, perfectionism is just it's just a parasite. It's going to destroy my life if I let it take over my thoughts and dictate how I think about everything, especially how I think about myself. And this is going to sound so corny, okay? But just, I want to be as good of a friend to me as I am to my actual friends. If this resonated with you at all, please let me know. Please comment. I don't care about the comments helping my video. I really don't care about that, okay? I don't. I just want to know what you guys are thinking. And if this was helpful and I should do more videos like this, any of you guys have something that you're like, talk about this or don't ever do a video like this again. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know. Thank you for watching. And I'm going to go cry now. Bye. <laughs>